Hi, it's Dr. Kim Marie on this gorgeous day. And I wanna talk about approaching today with a beginner's mindset. I was talking earlier about uh, collaborating with a bunch of brilliant women. And um, we often do this in business. We're collaborating with uh, people who are really experts in their field. And there can be some miscommunications. There can be um, what we think is clear, uh, what we think we've communi communicated clearly is not so clear to the other people. And, and, it, um, and there, there can be uh, questions, there can be miscommunications, there can be misunderstandings. Um, and I was having a conversation this morning about that, about approaching things from a beginner's mind. When we're doing uh, teaching and we're in our unique brilliance and we're, we're, we're marinating in this stuff all the time, we think it's common knowledge. I remember when I started writing my first book years ago, I would speak in a language that skipped over all the beginner's mind concepts and brought them right to where I am or, or only a couple of steps before that and thinking that everyone had the same knowledge and the same training that I had and I realized that that's not the case I just didn't give myself enough credit and I think that we don't give ourselves enough credit that we are in our unique brilliance and don't realize that not that's not common knowledge to everybody I was talking to my grandson yesterday and he said that he um, he had an accident while he was uh, sleeping. He had taken a nap and he had an accident. And I said, well, you know, did you know that if you drink too much milk before you take, lay down that you will, you may wet your pants? And he giggled. But that is the beginner mind. They don't put the two together. They don't always, and it's not because we're not as smart, it's just that it's not your field of expertise. So the next time somebody uh, may not get what you're saying or may not, um, or there may be some miscommunication somewhere, rather than getting frustrated and acting like you already said that or that this is what you said the first time, understand that there that we may need to break it down like we might be trying to serve someone a whole meal when they're only able or capable of taking a bite at a time and that is also what we want to give ourselves we want to give ourselves the uh, grace of having a beginner's mind in an area that we're not comfortable with or that we don't know real well. Not getting frustrated with ourselves, not, not allowing, um, piling so much and so many expectations on ourselves on something that we're learning new. I've been doing a lot of techie things, uh, connecting all the dots in my business, and that's not my area of expertise. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I can learn. Uh, but I often feel behind the eight ball and then I hold myself accountable in that space and it's just not a kind thing to do and it's not a productive thing to do. You know, it's realizing that this is new and I have to approach it from a, a beginner's mindset and no, I'm not a beginner in the, uh, in the um, content that I'm teaching, but I am a beginner in delivering the content in this way. So allowing that, allowing yourself to show up with a beginner's mind and for that to be okay to ask questions, that to be okay to ask for clarity and to, um, and to give yourself that, right? To, to give you a lot of people, <clears throat> including myself, feel embarrassed sometimes to ask for the clarity because maybe you think you're the only one that needs it, but we're not or not and it's okay and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with um, with wanting to understand on a deeper level to me I think that people that are inquisitive and they ask questions are really it's really a, a gift that they're giving to be inquisitive and to want to go deeper and to want to understand rather than just assume and um, and have some miscommunications along the way. So give yourself the grace, give yourself the respect, 
give other people the respect to start with a beginner's mind to remember that each one of us has our, our area of brilliance and each one of us has our learning curve so remembering that when we're when we're on this road together so we give each other grace we give each other respect we give each other love and we help set each other up to win i hope you have an amazing day i love you